Today we are going to see a very important topic in computer architecture that is error detection and correction. Okay, so normally in computer system there are different functions. Okay, so the main functions are data storage. And secondly, data movement and finally, data processing. Normally in computer architecture, we will deal with these computer functions. The data storage for that we are dealing with memory systems. And data movement, we will uh, talk about what are the instructions we are going to use for data movement between the registers. And also we will see about the control signals, how it will be generated for moving the data from one location to another. And also data processing, mainly we will see about ALU instructions, how the data will be processed. Okay, So data movement is an important function. Sometimes the data, it will be in the form of bits okay so when you transfer the data from one location to another sometimes error may occur due to some voltage or things like that so it's our role we have to find out which particular bit is wrong so for example if you consider this is an 8 bit data which is transferring from one location to another if you uh, this particular bit the fourth bit is getting error so for example it becomes instead of zero it's instead of one it, if it becomes zero then okay so this particular bit is getting error okay at the receiver end we have to find out which particular bit got an error and we have to detect it and we have to correct it so that is the process we are going to use okay so the hamming okay we are going to use an hamming code in addition to the data bits data bits we are going to add this hamming codes and we are going to find in the receiver end whether the bit which is transferring is correct or not. That only we are going to see in this particular session. Okay. So I will tell you what are the steps that will be used for error detection and correction. Okay. So as I told you, uh, in addition to the data bits, we are going to include and correction bits that is the check bits we are going to add that is the hamming codes okay we have to add with that and then we have to send it at the receiver end we are going to again using this check bits the same check bits what we are going to use in the uh, transmitter time and we are going to find an XOR of that result that leads to which position got an error so that is the main idea of error detection and correction okay so now we are going to uh, first point we should know is for how many data bits how many check bits is required so that is the first point okay that is um, uh, the check bits how many check bits is required okay so how many check bits is required for an uh, data bits okay See, for example, if you are uh, uh, sending four bit as a data, okay, if you are sending for that, how many check bits is required? If you are sending seven um, bit as a data bit and for that time, okay, how many check bits is required? So that is the first thing we are going to um, identify, okay? So we are going to use a formula 2 power uh, k minus 1, which is greater than is equal to m plus k okay according to the hamming okay we are going to uh, use this particular formula okay this formula have to be satisfied what is this m m is the size of data bit and k we are going to find out the number of check bits okay so that only we are going to identify so we are going to substitute the value of uh, k as 0 1 2 okay when this condition get satisfied for example if the input data bit is 4 bit okay consider input uh, data bit is a 4 bit okay so for that how many check bits is required so just to substitute the formula here 2 power 0 minus 1 that is k i am substituting as 0 uh, which is greater than is equal to uh, 
uh, 4 that is the size of the data bit okay 4 plus 0 okay whether this it satisfied no it not yet satisfied because 2 power 0 is 1 minus 1 0 which is not greater than is equal to 4 okay so it is not satisfied so next we are going to substitute the value of k as 1 so 2 power 1 minus 1 which is greater than is equal to 4 plus 1 we are when we substitute here 2 minus 1 that is 1 which is greater than is equal to 5 that is also not yet satisfied okay so now substitute the value uh, for k as 2 okay 2 power um, 2 minus 1 whether which is greater than is equal to 4 plus 2 okay so here when you uh, check here here also it is not satisfied because 4 minus 1 is 3 which is not greater than is equal to 6 okay so here when we put the k value as 2 then also it is not yet satisfied now when we uh, add the k value as 3 2 power 3 minus 1 which is greater than is equal to 4 plus 3 or not okay so here it's satisfied it's equal in both side we are getting 2 power 3 is 8 8 minus 1 is 7 which is greater than is equal to 7 so it is equal right so 7 is 7 okay so now you can clearly understand that for four data bits okay as an input when we give so three check bits is required so for four data bits we need three check bits I hope you are clear with the first step right so this is the first step uh, in Hamming code we are we have to identify how many check bits is required for a data bit okay